When it comes to nutrition, there's nothing more frustrating than trying to implement an action plan with a client who isn't open to change. But understanding the stages of change can help with identifying the right intervention at the right time, resulting in greatly improved clinical outcome. I once mentioned to a client that her pet had gained a few pounds since her last visit. Her response was, I think he looks cuter that way. That's not a client that's open to change. Her pet did eventually achieve a healthy weight, but there were several stages of readiness in between. Today, I'm able to identify those stages using the Prochaska Stages of Change model, and it makes the process easier. One, pre-contemplation. Change isn't on their radar. They aren't ready for an intervention. Two, contemplation. They're aware of the pros and cons of an issue and have the intention of making a change soon or within six months. Three, preparation or decision-making. They recognize the problem and decide to take action in the next month. Four, action actively engaging. In the case of obesity, they've already started reducing the number of treats fed or chosen a different food. Five, maintenance. They're continuing the action plan to prevent a relapse. In regard to a sensitive topic like pet obesity, Trying to affect change in a client who isn't ready will only alienate the client. And while it's important not to lose the client, it's also important not to communicate that unhealthy weight gain is harmless. It's about finding a middle ground. For instance, if it's clearly too soon to implement an action plan, plant a seed by saying, I'm worried enough about Cricket's weight that I want you to bring her back in a month or so for a weight check. This way, without pushing too hard, concern is shown for the pet while keeping the client on board. During the exam, asking questions can help discover a client's readiness to change. For example, asking, I noticed that Cricket's weight is up two pounds. Do you mind if we talk about this? Or I might say, can I offer you a handout or a link to an article? And if the client declines or their reply is in the form of an excuse like, because my partner gives her too many treats, that's an indication they're not in a state of readiness yet. If they answer, I really haven't worried about that, they may not be ready for an action plan, but at least you can help make them aware of the condition. This is the pre-contemplation phase signaling they're not ready for a change yet. If they aren't willing to talk, at least the seed has been planted and you can follow up. If their response to you is, yeah, I've been wondering about that, they're in the contemplation stage. They're aware of the problem, but action could be months away. In this case, a good follow-up question would be, what barriers stand in the way of changing that? And then, I'd be happy to talk about some possible solutions whenever you're ready. If they reply that they're ready to talk today, they're in the preparation or decision-making stage. In this stage, they're committed and will be ready for a plan. Determining readiness to change is about asking open-ended questions instead of questions that can be answered with a yes or no. But equally important, it's about listening intently to that answer and discerning whether it's pushback or an invitation to learn more. It's also about efficiency and choosing the right time to act so that the right treatment plan is matched with the client's ability and receptiveness. Because in the long run, that's going to be the fastest, most efficient way to help this pet and keep this client.